So today the drumming community took a giant hit. Um, we lost the great Dom Famularo. Uh, Dom was a mentor, he was a teacher. Um, his teaching and you know this book, I've done videos on this book, um, fundamentally changed the way I play. The way I thought of the drums, my form, the way I attacked the drums. And not only just from a playing standpoint, but even from like a just living life the way he looked at life, the way he looked at business, the way he looked at, you know, giving and just being positive. Just learned so much from him and it is just such a huge loss. Just my condolences to Dom's family and uh, something that I am including on this video. Uh, I found an old VHS of a lesson I took with Dom, but I got so much out of that lesson and I hope that you get something out of it too. Rest in peace, Dom. You will be sorely missed but never forgotten. It's as if I'm pushing your lower part of your back and you bring your posture to this level. We can't start one stroke, we can't start one position unless you're in a position of great posture. How would you rate your posture normally in the course of your day? Uh, decent, not really. Some, sometimes, most of the time, I, I try my best. If I'm aware of it, I keep it up. But sometimes I'll catch myself and I'll be like, you know. Okay, good. I want you to, from now on, from when you walk out of this room, I want you to be so focused on posture that if someone looked at you, they would think you were from royalty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm not asking you to throw your chest out to look like you're yeah, stiff. Right. What I'm talking about is just to stand up straight and to sit straight at all times. When you get back in your car to drive out of here, I want you to be aware of your posture as if there's a camera, television camera on you 24 hours a day, like the Truman Show, <laughs> and it's being shown to the world, and you know what's being happening, almost more like Ed TV. You ever see that right. movie, Ed nah, TV? I, 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 funny, I funny. It was kind of like the Truman Show, but a, a different twist. Right. Funny movie. He knew he was being filmed. So the point is, if you know you're being filmed, sent to the world, how would you want them to see you? Right. So I, I think sitting up and having that level of, of, of royal posture would be very important. So from that position now, now we go down to our natural, bring both hands to your natural position, okay? So we have this on the video now on March 11th today, right? Mm -hmm. And you can see now in how it is. Your hands are more, um, again, around this barrel of positioning, and your hands are much more relaxed in how I feel that they are. Now just go back to your other position and where you were. Okay? And where that is now with the curvature here and the angle of where your arm is here and how much you're working now. Now go back to the around the barrel position. There it is. Okay? And even to a degree over exaggerated a little. Now, that's not necessarily because we're going to play this way. It's because we're going to stretch the muscles and relax and find our natural movement this way. Okay. All right? So from that position, now with it. Now go to a full stroke position with your right hand. Excellent. Now play me, just take your left hand off. Just play me one stroke now with your right hand and end in that position. Okay. Okay. Pushed. Okay, you pushed, and when you, <laughs> when you came back, you squeezed. Right. Now imagine, we will, and that's why I say we have the proof of this video, we will in time be able to get this stroke down. And we'll have this when we go back to this video and watch the first lesson number one within a couple months. All right. You're gonna see dramatic change and how you played that one stroke to how you'll play the future strokes. Okay. We'll get to it. Excellent. Throw it down. Let it, not bad. Not bad. Now it's hitting the butt end here right. because I want you to go back to your full stroke position and bring the stick up a little. Yeah, bring it up a little. Not too much. Right about there. Try that now. When you throw it down, throw it down with more conviction. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. If you throw it down like a wimp, it's going to come back like a wimp. Okay. Right. Okay, now when you throw it down, don't throw it down with tension. Just notice I used the word more conviction. Right. Yes. Perfect. That's what I wanted to have. Okay. That's the exercise. What you're doing is now you're seeing that. You, all you're doing is your hand is just throwing down. Right. And the stick is flying back up. Right. Now what the free stroke is, now play me an actual free stroke. Where you throw it down and let it bounce out like you did before and follow it. Yeah. How's that feel? That's great. What you're feeling now is the exact same feeling. The difference with this one is you're just following the stick back. Okay. You're not pulling it back. You're just following it back, much like the dribbling of that basketball where you're doing this here. I'm not pulling the stick back. I'm just following it back and thinking down. Okay. Try it again. Keeps on jumping back like that. That is excellent. It's like I have to go back and grab it. Absolutely. That's, which is wonderful. You're... you're, you're you really got some great life to the stick. Look what we've done so far. You're using the least amount of effort for the maximum amount of stroke. Now think of this now at a higher level on drum set. When we get your entire body with all these techniques for that level, 
where you're using very little to play solos and with the band. And I go back to my solo I played for you. I played a 15-minute solo. When I came off the solo, I was sweating because of being under the lights, but I wasn't out of breath. Right. I, I, I was able to speak very calm for the remaining of the, of the time. Mm -hmm. to, that's, to me, where the real essence of movement and technique meet. Okay. Great. Player about trying to connect these three fingers together. So when you have the motion of those three fingers working, there's an amazing amount of, of arm motion that you can see in your arm that's happening. It's kind of hard to catch on a video, but there's a lot going on in there. A lot of movement that you can see. Yeah, there it is, okay? You can really see what's happening with that motion. Just that motion right there will give you tremendous, tremendous exercise. Now, we're not even, even a minute yet. Even if you don't do it fast, right? No, it's not about, it's not about fast. It's about just unifying them to work together more. In time, they'll just go faster naturally. Right. Now watch what happens now. Now we're about at a minute point. Now grab the stick again. Go to your full stroke again where you were. Okay. And play me another one of the free strokes where you throw those fingers out and bring it back in. Okay. Yeah. What do you feel? I'm not working as hard. And we did one minute! Yeah. One minute of this dopey exercise. <laughs> and already you can see, imagine now, when you begin to work this into place, how much more you're going to have. Now your fingers, how, how off the stick should they come? Should they as, come? as off as they want to. Okay. In time it'll change as you fine tune it. But right now, it's not about, don't worry about the fingers. See, there, there's the, there's, there's the, the focus is, and your question is a fair question because everyone asked that. My, and my answer to it is, don't worry about the fingers. Worry about the feel of the stick. Let your fingers dictate that. The stick is flying back, let it fly back. Right. If your fingers fly off to the next time zone, fine. I find it's even going further back it, than I Yeah, now we it. have much more power than you're ready to use. Right. Now we got to learn how to control it. That is excellent. Really. <laughs> Open your hand. And again, throw these three fingers out and let it come back into your hand. Try it. Unbelievable. <laughs> throw it down again. What do you feel in the, in the movement of the stick? It just goes. It, just it goes flies it. back, it right? It flies right back. Yeah, it totally has that. If I do it like that, I can feel myself. You can pulling. feel yourself working. Right. Throw it down again. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you're going to learn this so great. Oh, man. Now, even more than that now. Now, throw it down. Instead of here, throw it down a little bit from the side, a little bit more, and how you're doing it. Like that? Like coming in a How'd you feel that? It felt great. More, right? Yeah. Try it again. It Wow, that almost jumped out of my hand. That's, this is, this yeah. remember I told you that karate chop where it comes kind of from an angle, more than just straight, it's coming from kind of an angle more. So let's try and find that right angle for you. Throw it down again. Keep going. How hard are you working for this stroke? Not very hard at all. You're using the least amount of fuel for the maximum amount of stroke. Right, I see that. Now is it okay that my arm moves a little bit like that? Yes, I mean, if, as long as you're focused on your wrist, if your body speaks that way, it's important to listen. Okay. If you're saying to me you're totally relaxed and you're throwing the stick down with relaxation and the stick is flying back and we've discovered that that's a very natural motion, if your elbow wants to fly out a little, fine. Fine, fine. Okay, do it again. Freeze. Just relax your hand. and Yeah, relax a little bit more in your fulcrum point so your hand comes back more. I've lost control. Yes. You can see the stick flying back. That is excellent. Excellent.